Hey there, internet people. Welcome back to another Flag Tech Tech podcast. I'm your friendly neighborhood host, Nick. And I'm joined by my awesome co host, Dominic. What's going on, Dominic? Not much. Everything's going great. How's everything with you? Everything's good. Everything's good. I'm ready to talk tech news. Me too. I'm thrilled to dive into some mind boggling tech news with you today. And we've got a mix of intriguing stories lined up. So let's jump right in. Let's kick things off with a jaw-dropping story. So, a former Samsung executive has been accused of attempting to copy an entire chip plant in China. Can you believe that, Dominic? Yo, what? It's like something straight out of a spy movie. He's my kids. boy taking shortcuts. <laughs> the allegations suggest that this executive tried to steal crucial technology and replicate it in China. It's a reminder that intellectual property protection is a serious matter for these companies. I can't believe Samsung. Like, I expect that from Huawei, but not Samsung. My boy said you know Huawei. What I'm like, yo. <laughs> yo. No disrespect, but they just have, <laughs> they have that reputation. Huawei, yo. they still, they still like technology, but Samsung is like, they're not yeah. Chinese, they're Korean. Like, like I feel like it's because like, like Samsung, they just see like, like, like what's going on with with Apple, and then they're like, all right, all right, all right, all right, we got, we got to move on from this. Wait, Wait hold our, on, our... hold on. I think I read this article. <laughs> uh, it says a former Samsung executive. All right, Samsung, you're redeemed. We're not no, gonna... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. That's fine. That's fine. All right. This this man but went why, rogue. Though? But but why though? Like like like, what would be the reason behind it? Like like to just like like, what would make him do that? Like, why? I have like, a better question. Did he steal this information straight from Samsung? Mm. Since he he used to work there. That's true. Because check this out: you work for Samsung, you come up with this crazy technology. And then you're like, dang, I wish I could do that in my own company. Like, I know how to do it. It's kind of like, you know, like, we know how to fix, like, phones and things like that. Mm -hmm. It's like, you can take that knowledge, go to another company or make your own company. And, you know, you're fixing phones for yourself. True. You know? I don't know, man. That'd be but crazy. But then if you're That's a Samsung crazy. executive, you're not lacking money. So exactly. what's the purpose? You got crazy money. Like, you're an executive at Samsung. Like, literally, if you wanted to move from Samsung and go apply at Apple, if they're paying more, you can pull up to Apple and do that. Like, that's crazy. We're going to see well, We're going to see this man on, on, on the next keynote, on the next WWDC. Real. Well, like James Bond, there's never enough. So Oof. let's switch gears and talk about a recent protest that took the internet by storm. I don't know if you hear about this, Dominic, but let me tell you. Reddit... Tell the online platform you've been on it you've been on reddit right yeah i used to use it to like promote my youtube video and follow wall street bets when the whole gamestop frenzy was going on oh that's right that's when it got yeah. real popular yeah but it saw over six thousand communities go dark and protests what? of api changes which i'll get into that in a little bit they went dark as a way to voice their concerns to show solidarity. It, it's incredible to witness the power of online communities, for real. Once everybody kind of like, this is the same as Wall Street Bets, where everybody on Reddit got on the same page and was mm -hmm. like, yo, let's pump up GameStop. Remember that? Yes. Yeah, so yo, it's like that. They were going ham with GameStop. <laughs> Anyways, API changes. So let's say you're a Reddit launcher. So you're not the Reddit app, but you're a different launcher where you can interact with Reddit, friends, everything like that, different features. That's the API is the way that you interact with Reddit. So they're changing the rules to where you got to pay a lot per request, something like that. And a lot of launchers that are really popular, like Apollo, um, I don't know many, to be honest they were going out of business they were getting put out of business like after being in business and being in business years and everybody's favorite app and because it, it they made it to where it didn't make sense anymore because the reason why reddit would want to do something like this is so people can use their app 
and if they use their app they'd be able to sell ads on there but if they're using another launcher it gets a little bit more difficult to get that ad revenue am i being clear mm -hmm. like i don't know but i, I think they're gonna saying. reverse it Six thousand communities like going missing yeah it, I it's gotta for change fact, like like for that for six thousand communities going missing on reddit that had to have hurt them in some type of way you know yeah especially if it was popular once exactly exactly but i mean it's amazing to see the strength of online communities but radio users taking a stand and going dark is a powerful demonstration of their dedication and passion for real but this protest highlights the importance of listening to the voices of the community and finding ways to address their concerns the internet has become a platform for mobilization and making a real impact kudos to the communities taking a stand facts well moving on let's talk about apple's recent announcement of tvos 17 for apple tv i know you're kidding wait for this one dominic oh brace boy. yourself because some exciting changes are coming our way apple's constantly pushing out good updates and this update is no exception we're talking about enhanced user experience new features no duh and even more seamless integration with other Apple devices. I'll get into that later. It's like bringing a cinema experience right into our living rooms. Grab your popcorn because Apple TV just got even better. So, FaceTime for Apple TV via the continuity. You'll be able to set your iPhone on your tabletop. And you'll be able to have that FaceTime call on the big screen. It uses center stage where if somebody else comes into the frame, it gets into a wider lens. Mm -hmm. So everybody's in frame. Whoever's talking gets like more of the attention too. And you'll be able to share play while being on a FaceTime call with your friends on Apple TV, which you could already do that now, but only from your iPhone and share play the Apple TV. You'll be able to see them there. What do you think about that, Dominic? I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, literally, you can be chilling. Next thing you know, oh, I'm getting a FaceTime call. I'll set up my phone, take it, bomb, put it like that. And I'll just sit back chilling on the FaceTime call, talking, da -da -da. and the next thing you know, call ends. I don't even have to move, no nothing. Just grab the remote or even use my phone. It just, all right, what, what am I going to watch? I'm going to watch ESPN. <laughs> am I going to watch YouTube? We're hopping on the Netflix, Hulu. For real, what are we watching, babe? <laughs> <laughs> you stay chilling. Yeah, you stay chilling. But uh, all in all, um, Apple knows how to keep us entertained. So, mm, I mean, when if it came down to like this in the headset, the TBOS 17 update promises to take our eight Apple TV experience to new heights with enhanced features like classic Apple smoothness. It's like having a mini theater on our homes. Get ready to immerse yourself in a world of exciting content and seamless connectivity. Apple TV is about to take your binge watching sessions to a whole new level. Yo, Man, these devices though. Get the headset. Get the headset, yo. But that that that's too much money. That that's that's money. It's, Yo, a whole I need like note. a dopamine rehab after that. <laughs> <laughs> I, all these devices just got me wired. Like, <laughs> so many updates, so many features. Like, yo, and once I get that Apple headset, yeah, my boy is over. <laughs> yo, you calling me via FaceTime the headset. <laughs> it, it facts. Like, yo, like, why you looking like a 3D model, fam? <laughs> Yo, I'm on the headset right now. <laughs> hey, but let me tell you though, uh, you know what would be a good video, which I already seen on YouTube, but with the Meta Quest Pro or Meta Quest? What? 24 hours on the headset. Yo, what? So it's like, boom, you see, 24 hours. So you sleep with it, you go to the bathroom with it, you eat with it. And you Yo. know how it has to pass through? Yeah. Where you can see outside? Uh huh. Because you could do that with the quest as well, but it's, I think it's black and white. So you'll be able to do everything and and make a YouTube video about it. Like I spent 24 hours in the Apple VR. 
Yo, that would be crazy. That, no, there's so, there's a guy. All right, so when the whole metaverse thing was going crazy and people were buying property <laughs> in the in a in a sandbox, things like that. Yo, I'm laughing at those people right now. Yo, Bro. remember the NFTs? Yeah, I feel dumb spending my money on that. And the, how they got minted, but then they got like lost. Remember the little the rug goats, pulls? the goats or whatever. You don't oh, remember? You, you, yeah, I still have mine. Yeah, but you remember, like, you said that you had to mint them again because there was an error with the Yeah, thing. Bruh, with the contract. Bro, come on now. I did not. I didn't. I didn't remint. I kept my own. I kept the originals. Yeah? Yeah, I, was yeah. Like, I don't got time for all this. Yeah, but, for real. They got me working <laughs> out here. But whatchamacallit, like, like when it came out to, like, the NFTs, it really depended on which, of, like, like, which one you snagged, to be honest. But like, but like think what, about all the eight? celebrities that got the good ones for like two million dollars, and now they're worth like thirty k. Check this out. Check this out. With Board Eight Yacht Club, you know that if I'm not mistaken, that originally took off in 2017, right? <clears throat> and it didn't become popular until I think it was uh, 2021 or 2020. That's when it finally became popular because that's when the project like really took off and people were selling them for like like massive amounts of money i feel like it was the perfect storm to where anything crypto and things like that and people having extra money in their pockets because of the stimulus checks and everything like and people wanting to like work from home and like do their own thing it, it was like perfect like yo i got money I know crypto and like any with these blockchains is popping. I can make some, a quick dollar, but I don't know. I feel like only like the people, like celebrities, probably made money with it. I don't know that like pumped up an NFT and then just dumped it. Like a lot of people got in trouble for that. Yeah, yo, Tory Lanez, his NFT went crazy. I'm not. I'm not sure if you saw it. I like what he did though because he. I think he sold the album with it. Yes. So if you got the NFT. You got the album. Yes. And he sold like a whole lot of them. He, he got a hundred percent of that money. Yeah, because he he, he was independent, so there was no labels getting a cut. No. Nothing. Yeah, he did good. But look at where he at now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 My dog Tory. Free Tory, bro. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, if he's innocent, free Tory. If he's not, I mean, my boy got to do his time. Yeah, my dog Tory, bro. But hey, right. let's wrap up this. Let's wrap up with a tech industry headline that has everyone buzzing. Twitter has reportedly refused to pay its Google contract. That's a bold move, Elon. That's a bold move, my boy. Yo. But I mean, the details are still unfolding, but it's clear that the decision will have some serious implications. That's crazy. My boy Elon said, yo, there's a there's a mistake in this bill. <laughs> <laughs> Get me to the cancellation department. <laughs> yo. Google's like, no, please, we'll cut your bill in half. <laughs> we'll yo. give you HBO for six months. <laughs> It's not like you're talking to Xfinity. <laughs> hey, yo. Like, 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 yo. That one person that that, that be on the on the, on the other end always telling me like, like, oh, we could do this, this, this. Matter of fact, we could give you three months for free. All types of stuff, yo. I bet you when Elon got that bill, he was like, hold on, something ain't adding up. So you mean to tell me from this time to this time, he's about this much data. When I really got here around this time, I acquired this account this time. Yeah. For real, Yo. I just got this account. I don't know what these people were doing with all this cloud For real. computing. <laughs> he calling, he calling up the original owners like, "Yo, y'all didn't tell me there was a bill for like five million. For like, real. what's going Yo. on right now?" Yo, the other it's like they left them with the bill. Yo, and, then, and then the whole hilarious. thing is when 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 Elon calls the other people, their lines like, "Like this number is no longer in service. Please try again later." <laughs> Like yo, what? He's sending out emails. They changed the email. Yo, they put all. They ran off on, on Elon. <laughs> yo, Elon calling from different numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 that's the crazy. business side of tech. It's a whole nother game. But so this decision not to pay his Google Cloud contract has sent shockwaves through this industry. It's a reminder that the big players have their share of negotiations and tough choices to make.
just like every one of us. So I'm going to be keeping a close eye on how this unfolds and what it means for the tech landscape. Because can you just skip the bill? Exactly. Like, how are like, you going to run things with no cloud, though? I feel like I feel like if like like with what Elon did, if depending on how it plays out, it might just be a green light for other other companies and things like that. To where if they they're like, all right, if we don't got it, we don't got it. Like I'm not I'm not I'm not about to pay. I'll pay. I'll I'll catch them next month. Or like like they might pull pull a whole TikTok meme, double it, and give it to the next person. <laughs> for real, I got you next time. Yo, that's, that's what Google, that's what the uh, previous owners of Twitter did. Basically, they were like, "All right, we're going to double this and give it to Elon." <laughs> but I mean, shoot, that's a wrap for today's episode of Fly Tech. We hope you enjoyed diving into these capitation. Oh, if I'm that yeah. stuff. <laughs> nah, it's all good. My boy's extra excited. What? It's all yo. about the quite. The, the, it was quite the tech roller coaster, right? Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Follow us on all social media platforms at Max and Fix. Fix. And until next time, peace. peace.